welcome to this demonstration of our self-sealing fitting kit. We're going to connect a hose such as this, it could be a, a pipe even, to a soft material such as a silicon or rubber hose. So I'll show you how to do that. The kit is a five-piece kit and it consists of the main body, the takeoff, rubber o-ring. Now we don't need the rubber o-ring for a soft material such as silicon or rubber. So I'm going to put that to one side. Pressure washer, this special pressure washer, I'll explain more about that a bit later on. The barbed outlet. Now the kits are available in various sizes so have a look at the website to see which size you require. And the pipe cutter. Um, a special cutter will go through the hose and uh, create the correct aperture for the takeoff. So, let's get started. Now, in order to cut through the hose, you need to get some pieces of wood together, large enough for the, for the aperture. And the idea is, you're trying to create a nice snug fit for the, for the hose cutter. So, you don't want it too loose, Tighter means that the cutter will stay in position while uh, you give it a good clout, as we'll see. Now, if it's a new hose, I can appreciate you might not want to damage that, but have a finish on it. So, some masking tape is all you need, that's absolutely fine. And you can even mark up the, the point where the cutter is if you need to. Now, preferably a rubber hammer such as this is what you're look, looking to use. Um, if you really don't have one, you could use a piece of wood again with a, with a metal hammer, but um, soft is better. Even an, another old piece of a hose would, would be better to put on top if you really had to. So having done that and you've fitted the, the cutter inside, we need to give it a good sharp tap. What we're looking for is to get the cutter through the hose without moving. Now. On a hose such as this, which is reinforced, you can see we, we have to get through these threads as well. So we're going to get a, a good old clout. So here goes, okay? Now, that was a clean through. I could actually feel that embed in the hammer when, when I went for the upward swing. So simply remove the cutter. It's got the the blank in there, there you go. Okay. And we're ready to fit the kit. Very simple. So the main part of the outlet. Okay. Now the special pressure washer has two faces. This stepped inner face and this smooth outer. So the stepped inner face always goes towards the material, i.e. the hose, followed by the barbed outlet. Now you'll be able to tighten up fairly easily by hand, but I suggest you do get a spanner on there to create a, a fluid or airtight seal as required. Okay. And then once you've done that, you can make the connection. Okay, tighten up your Jubilee clip, and there you go. 